Hey guys, it's Andrew. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another album unboxing. This one's gonna be a little bit different though. It's not like how all of my past album unboxings have been. Today's album unboxing is gonna be very special. I actually bought three. This is gonna be the first half because I'm filming this because I just got one of them uh, a little while ago. And the other two are supposed to be coming today, so I'm hoping that I can film them in one day. If not, they're gonna be in this video regardless. First one is a very special album. You guys can probably tell by like the title of this video, but I ended up ordering some albums off of eBay. Uh, this one in particular, I was really wanting to get because I wanted to use this as not necessarily like a prop or anything, but I wanted to have it in the background for one of my future videos. So that's kind of where this whole entire craze started. I got this off of eBay. This one specifically it costed $40. This was the most expensive one out of the three that I bought. Um, this one was $40 and then shipping was I think like $20. Two twenty-four, something around that. So I ended up spending around sixty dollars total for this one. Now I know you guys are probably thinking, like, oh my gosh, Andrew, like, why would you spend that much money on an album? Um, but there's a reason to that. I promise. I promise you. They on the seller, they really did a good job packaging this. Cause look at this. Holy shit. Alrighty. So finally done with the bubble wrap. So now we'll <laughs> more, more stuff to unpackage. So let's go. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh shit, this is like a lot more smaller than I initially thought. Whoa, so here is the first album, you guys. So yeah, it's ANS's Say My Name album. And it's like, it's a promo album because as you can tell, it is signed by the members. Now, this was the album, like I said, that I wanted to have because I wanted to have it in the background of one of my future videos. But um, I wasn't sure whether or not I was gonna buy it, but then I was like, you know what, might as well just get it. And, uh, yeah, this is the album. I'm really curious as to how it all is, but oh my gosh. Ooh, so here, let's just take a look at it. So this is actually a really small album. If you compare it to my hand, it is pretty small and it's really thin as well, but this is really cool. This album was most likely either an album that they gave away to fans as an at like an, an event out in Korea, or it was probably part of their Make Star uh, event where, you know, obviously like idols, they do Make Star events uh, to help fund them for either the comeback or their debut or just the album release or just like, you know, to help fund them for something when it comes to like events for their promotions. Um, and I think for this one specifically, it was to help send them to music shows. So if it was for the Make Star event, then that's what this is for. If not, it was just for another event that they had. Now let's go ahead and take a look inside. So the front pocket is actually where the CD is. So I, I it was taped, so I t t um, took the tape off. So let's go ahead and take a look at the CD. Oh, the CD, okay, the CD is not, nothing too fancy. But there's a CD for that. Now this photo book's really small, so I might as well just go through it with you guys. So let's go ahead and take a look. So there's the first page, Hannah. And I'm just excited to check this because with these promo albums, they don't typically, you know, they don't really go get out there that often. It's like a very small amount of people that have these albums. So it's like I feel like a lot of these pictures, like the, like these pictures with like them with the dark red background with the more shadowy look, um, I don't think have ever really been shown. So it's like a very small amount of people actually get to see some of the like never before seen photo shoots for some of these uh, promo albums. So it's so cool. So I don't know if you, like you guys let me know were you guys a fan of ANS or did you guys like listen to ANS when they were around? Because I personally I got into them right when they debuted. I wasn't there for their pre-debut, but I was there when they debuted and I was a big fan of their debut song. I know a lot of people had were going back and forth with their debut song. But I personally really liked it and then this comeback of theirs. It was, it was something, I'll tell you that. I really enjoyed this comeback for sure. Wow, uh, and just like all the members and everything. Like, I feel like Say My Name was like, like their peak time. Even though it was their first comeback, I feel like it was such an improvement and just like, in qual like improvement quality and everything. And I feel like if they could have, if they were just under a better company and everything, they could have kept on going and they could have, I don't know, been popular. Also, let me know in the comments if you guys were like a fan of ANS, like who was your bias? Like, let me know in the comments. 
Wow, this is so cool, because I've never got to see any of these, like, photos before. Or, like, some some of them I've seen, but, like, a lot of the, like, unit pictures with a few of the members I never got to see. Oh, and then there's the lyrics and the credits. So, alright, so that was the first album. I know there's nothing too crazy. I'm gonna be waiting for the other two albums to come pretty soon, so, um, I'll cut to whenever I get them, so, yeah. Okay y'all, so I'm back and literally not even like 10 minutes after I just opened up the ANS album, my other albums ended up coming in the mail. So let's go ahead and unbox these ones. I'll tell you guys one thing, Koreans, they sure like love to take care of their stuff whenever they're sending it in the mail, which I mean, good for them. Like, cause I'd rather have that than, you know, people not, you know, giving a shit about how the stuff comes in the mail, but like, Man, they just love their tape. Like, this whole entire thing is literally taped together. Alrighty. I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> oh, I just got like a whiff of something. Something plasticky. I don't know. I'm thinking it's the bubble wrap from it being in the heat. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, wow, this. Okay, so as you guys can tell by the other t by the title of this video, I got one of these promo album as well as Just B's promo album and I did not realize Just B's was a lot more smaller than it actually was so since one of these is pretty simple we're gonna do theirs first their promo album for their single Lego and Lego I think was their last comeback that they had before they expanded because I think this came out early early 2019 and I think they expanded later that same year so this was their last song and unfortunately all of their music i don't know about spotify but apple music for sure all of their music just got deleted and i was like no like they took it off and it was so depressing and this was actually one of my favorite songs of theirs so that's why i was like when i found out that uh people were selling this online i was like oh i i should really get it so i really love the front i don't know if you guys can tell but can kind of see that it's signed. I don't know. They used a really thin like marker for their uh, for their auto or for their autographs compared to ANS's. <laughs> this is what the CD looks like on the inside, and their photo book actually seems a lot more thicker because a lot of my other CDs that are similar to like this, uh, they usually only have like a few pages. So this is actually a really thick little mini photo book. So I'll flip through it for you guys. Um, not gonna lie, I really liked the photo shoot for this comeback, but when they released the music video, I wasn't really that impressed. I think the lighting for the music video was really poor compared to the photo shoot. Then again, that was like how many years ago already? I can't believe I, it's, I think it's already been four years since their last comeback, so times have changed, I guess, <laughs> when it comes to the quality of all of the lesser known and underrated groups. But, uh, yeah. Let me see here. And I want to say one of the members, because I didn't really know them that well, because I think I got into them. I got into them well after this comeback, and then I think like not even like a month or two later after I got into them, they ended up disbanding. So I didn't know them that well, but I do know that one of the members is I think the older sister, or I don't know which exactly, older or younger, but she's a, the sister to one of the members of Girls' Day, I believe. So yeah, I actually really like this album because it's actually like a photo book, photo book compared to most other CDs, they don't really have photo books. So that's really cool, and then I don't know if I showed you guys the back, that's the back. So there's that one. Finally, we have Just Bees, which this is probably the one, like this is the most recent out of the three. This is their debut album, which I had been wanting to get for a very long time, but I never got around to doing it. And then they had their first comeback, and then comeback after that, I think was the one that I got, because I think the comeback after TikTok was Reload, right, I believe? So, I got that album, but I never got <laughs> anything after that or anything before that, so I really wanted to get this. And this was actually not that expensive. Oh, which by the way, the Wanna Be album I think was $12 and had like, I think like $20 shipping. And then this one was 
I think $22 and had $20 shipping. But I did get um, some money back for the shipping since both of these got shipped together since it was the same seller. So I did get some money back for that, which is pretty, pretty nice. Let's go ahead and open this. I don't know, I don't think this comes with any inclusions, but at the same time, I'm not 100% sure, so I guess we'll just have to see. There's a CD, it's in the back. So let's go ahead and take a look at the photo book. Oh wait, no, we do get stuff in here. Oh shit, okay, okay. And I'll just flip through this photo book since it is thicker compared to the other, uh, the other albums. So I'll just show you guys a couple photos here and there. But they just, ugh, they just look so good. Here's my bias right here, right off the bat. First page, my bias. <laughs> Love it. Bane looks really good too. I swear, it was their looks for their debut that really got me hooked up um, to them, you know? The red outfits, the red outfits, they look really good in too. Yeah, I like the red outfits. I think, cause I think that was the, I think these were the outfits that really got me like into them for the music video because they were in the music video, right? The red outfits? Or I know that for this music video they also had like football jerseys. I don't know. I can't remember. I'm trying to think. It's been like a while because this... When did they debut? 2021, I think? 2021? So that was a little bit of the photo book. I know I didn't really show that much, but I was just... I was just curious. So now let's go ahead and look at the two photo card things that we got. So the first one... Oh, so this is more like an ID card, so we got a little ID card here, which is really cool. Kind of gets you to know the members, I guess. And then the photo card. Oh, we got Bane! Cool! I can't remember if I got Bane for a photo card with the one album that I got for them. I don't remember. Did I film a video for that? I don't even remember. It's been so long. But I like this photo card of him. He looks really good here. Anyways, you guys, that was my unboxing video for you guys today. I had a really fun time, like, just like, I don't know, just opening these and just getting to see these. This is a new experience to me. I've never really gotten any signed albums before. Like, I've never bought any before um, because my previous albums, well, I guess the one I did technically buy, but that was at a concert. And then the other one that I got was for a gift for a collaboration. So uh, to actually like buy by them online, it's a very different feeling. But I personally really enjoy them and like, since like, you know, these are groups I've always wanted to get albums with, but I didn't know if I was ever going to be able to get them. It's really nice to finally have them, so. But that's all I have for you guys for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. <laughs> Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow my social media links in the description below, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys! <laughs>